Hey everyone, Kevin the Toy Smuggler here, and today we're going to be talking about retro action figures. And the reason I'm doing this uh, video today, uh, uh, a good uh, YouTube friender, uh, sorry, I'm very tired guys, I had a very long day. Uh, one of the YouTube fans that's on my show, Alpha, there he is, Alpha Tryon, uh, just getting ready to say your name, brother. Uh, welcome, thank you for joining. The whole reason I'm doing this video is for you tonight. And it's all about the retro figures. And uh, what Alpha asked me today is we was actually talking about the Ghostbusters, uh, the new retro figures coming out. And he was wanting to know why are the details so soft? And I'm going to go try to explain in pretty simple detail on why this has happened. Because we've seen it in the Ghostbusters line. And it's obvious that we see it in the Star Wars as well. But these are two great examples because they're actually quite different from each other. And we all seen that the Luke Skywalker, the Chewbacca, Han Solo, they're all having issues. Uh, hey, you're welcome, brother. I told you, you, you mentioned it and I'll do my best what I can. And this is actually a really good subject. And you're you're not the only person that's asked me this. And here's what's happened. Uh, kind of get you the frame in your mind of, if you're at home or you're at school, remember the old Xerox copiers. You take a picture or a typed uh, format piece of words. You make a copy of it. The copy comes out of the machine. You take that copy, put it on the glass, make a copy of that. Every time you do that, your uh, details are degrading every time. Hey, Keith, how you doing, brother? And this right here is the, actually, hey, hey, and somebody new. Hey, welcome. See, you were at Fanboy. Yes, I was. Thank you very much. Uh, and, and what happens is, and here's, I'm going to tell you what they did. And then at the end of this, I'm going to tell you what they should have done. And all they did here, they took an old figure and they made a brand new metal mold off of these, uh, off of the old figure. And if I had to guess, they probably took no pains taken effort to even take any paint off of the figures, if I had to guess. And what you need to realize, you go back to the original sculpt. You take the sculptor, he made the sculpt. Okay, now the metal molds are made off of that. Boom, you have your prototype coming out. First thing you do on the hair and like on the belt, uh, boom, paint goes over it. Boom, another layer of detail you're not going to see on that head. So now if you come back and make a mold off of that, and then you uh, get your first run off it. Now that hair is three graded, been three three levels of degrading, and boom. And then what's the next thing they got to do before they put it in this package? They paint it again. So now this head that you're seeing here is four uh, degrees of degrading going on, especially on the hair. That's why if you take a vintage look and one of these looks. You're not going, you're barely going to see any kind of waves or details in this head because it's four degrees of degrading going on. See here. There's no way to pass them off as original. Yeah, and, and that's probably why they did it. That's probably the, another reason why they did them like this, just so no one can't throw them off on an eBay. And that's why they did the whole faux thing. Even though I didn't care for it, I get why they did that. And I think, this was just kind of stupid. I mean, sorry, there's no one with this right here. That was enough. And this sticker could have been just, just a hair smaller, guys. But I guess they wanted to make sure that your hardcore collectors weren't going to get ticked off and stuff. So, and that's why they're having issues with them not holding their weapons really good and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard... The best one out of all of them, and it's uh, Darth Vader's probably, I've not seen a Darth Vader yet, but that's why the uh, Stormtrooper looks so well. And the reason is, all the white, where all the sculpting detail is, there is no paint. That's the color of the plastic. So he is only a uh, second degree generation, except for what little bit of black is on there, which is a very, very little. So versus where the Luke is mostly a third degree uh, degradation, and then in the hair, anything, and I think the legs, those are fourth degree degradations, and especially the hands, the hands get painted too. So that's the difference here, and that's probably why even the Stormtroopers 
can't hold their guns because that's where the black is. That's where all the extra paint went. See here. Yeah, it's all about the casting here. Now, here's what they could have done to make sure uh, there would be no issues. What they should have done was take one of these figures. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Jack's Toy Company. They're the ones that come up with the hand scanner and stuff. And uh, see, what's the name of that one company? 3D. But they're the ones that scan all the faces like for the Marvel movies and stuff like that. What they should have done is took the best of the best of the vintage figures that they can find. They should have got one of them facial scanners and scan the figure all the way around. Put it in a 3D format in like zebra and that i think i'm not saying that's what all the black series are uh, sculpted in anyway is zbrush and then what they should have done and see every time something gets molded you lose seven percent shrinkage so they could have took this file and then put it in a computer and then multiply it by seven percent to get it back to this size and they actually could have uh, done it by 14% just so it would come back out this side. I know it's a crazy mathematical game here. So since this has come out of the mode at seven degrees smaller, you would almost have to make the new one 14% bigger so it can come out 7% seven, uh, 7 smaller. And then once they had that file in the computer at the right, slightly 7% bigger than this one, then they went and it could have got someone who's really good at digital sculpting and went in there and start tightening up all the details making them cuts just sharpening everything up and then once they have that file they could have come out with a 3d print and then boom make your metal molds off of that and then that would have been the closest representation to this as you possibly can without being exactly the same thing and i'm pretty sure another reason why they're not a lot of these old molds tend to crack over the years and a lot of them have broken uh, i think that's why we're not getting any more uh millennium falcons that came off that original mode which was so sad because every other than the big falcon every falcon since then has just plainly sucked and they've been putting nerf crap on it the as i like the solo movie but the solo millennium falcons are horrible they should have never been made that it was just a sad representation of the millennium falcon bottom line and stuff like that and that's why and that's how these guys and but but here's the thing the reason they didn't all the money that would have cost to do that and then they would have had a product that have, a would have been too nice and looked too close to the vintage therefore someone would have could have got fooled there go again someone it just being sorry guys you all know go to smith lords you'll see all the crap people like to th throw off if something looks too good so, and unfortunately, uh, that's the two reasons, A, they went the cheap way out. You can tell by the crappy cards at these things. And the sad part is, these cards are better than what the new figures are coming out with on their cards. I mean, and that is sad. I thought you couldn't get much worse than these, but the new stuff is even worse. I don't know, what's the deal with Hasbro and their uh, Let's put out poor card back quality because what they're going to run into they're boom they're devaluing their own product before it even hits the shelf so if you're a current collector of anything new star wars coming out the chances and the rarity of getting a nice card, even the new black series uh there's two uh the half layers oh my god the, the, the card backs are like this right here and there, I don't care how much steam or whatever you put on that, unless you put it in one of them uh, Mylar closable things, that's the only way it's going to look flat. And that's really sad considering they know that, let's see, 85% or 90% of the people who buy Star Wars are Star Wars collectors. They just don't randomly, most people don't either. You buy Star Wars or you don't. You don't just randomly, oh, I like that one figure. No, it, that don't really happen. So... That's why I don't buy hardly any new Star Wars figures anymore. Very, very rare. I, I stick with the original vintage stuff. And then every now if I can find, uh, I got certain pick figures that I like the best. And that's the ones I go for. But other than that, I don't even bother with it. it see, it's sad what Hasbro has become. Yeah, it's just their, 
unfortunately they're they're they they're taking a lot of money from a big company and like i said i don't want to sit here and bash hasbro too because bottom line they take their orders from disney so they're very well could be some suit up there who don't give a flying flip about collectors who is saying all right okay we need to save a we need to save a nickel here save a dime there save three cents here save two cents there and they'll penny this thing to death to where boom they they saved a quarter per one and and it's to us you might as well say they just took half the value away and uh, and right now i believe these guys are going for uh these are the only two that i got i had a chance really to get all six and i i just didn't have 60 bucks on me but time tax have been over 70 plus and now these babies are going for 20 and I, if I'm not mistaken, these are supposed to hit Target again this fall when the new Ghostbuster figures are coming out. And that's the same deal with the new Ghostbusters. That's why you can plainly even see the pics of them on the little shelf at the Toy Fair, New York Toy Fair. And you can clearly tell the detail, the sharp detail is just not there. And, and like I said, that's fine. The only thing I thought about doing, I got, I got a complete set of my own. I got a complete set for my daughter. And the only reason I thought about picking those up, just like I'm going to finish getting the rest of these, uh, these are cheap, very affordable, that just look good hanging on the wall. And that's all it's for. Is this something to look at? A little eye candy on the wall? That's it. So, see. Ah, oh, where'd you get those at, Keith? I, I didn't know they was already out. Let's see. They're at your, where are you at, brother? Because my Walmart don't have crap. They're horrible. My Walmarts, I mean, it, it's like they are like a barren waistband. The only thing they got at our Walmarts is them stupid gold figures. And I just don't care anything about those things. North Carolina. Well, I'm going to have to send you some money so you can get me some stuff. Because our Walmart over here, the two Walmarts I got in Dalton are just horrible. Uh, if I usually, uh, well, like I said, I got these at Target up in Chattanooga is the reason I have them. I've never seen these in our Dalton Walmart ever. So, which I don't, that's right. These were, these, this run was a Target exclusive. The next run's supposed to hit Walmart and Target, if I'm not mistaken. So, but guys, I got to update my uh, Plan the Apes figures that I was telling you about. I, I got four, but one of them I just got for, it was this extra body parts is another Cornelius figure. But I'm going to show you, here's my two soldiers. I got them cleaned up. Got them geared up and got them weaponed up. My two newest ones. And a uh, guy, Jeff, on the uh, Facebook gave me an excellent deal. Now I have altogether four complete uh, soldier apes. And I actually got an extra soldier head. So I may do something with him later on down the line. Yeah, and yeah, Walmart employee, asking a Walmart employee anything is a complete waste of time. And here's the one that I actually got the head from another guy on Facebook, and I got the body from <laughs> I got the body from Jeff, and then he was the ape soldier that I told you that I had a. That's why I got an extra ape head. But the uh, General Urca Ursus here, he was the one I was short on. I'm still looking for the astronaut figure and stuff like that. But it's got the original vest, uh, original head, and he. This is the only original gun right there. And, uh, but like I said, the classic TV toy gun, oh, minor, minor differences. And like I said, and this come from classic TV toys and these are original eight pants that are just being bleached out. So, but actually I'm kind of glad that his pants were slightly different than the other guys. Cause it kind of helps him stand out in the crowd, so to speak. That's the only thing I didn't like about his character other than his face being all black, I thought was very striking. But I just think his outfit wasn't, they needed a slightly little bit more diversity versus the eight soldiers other than the bandolier he was carrying like uh, General Urko had the knife on it where the other guys didn't. So I like the, the different color pants kind of sets him apart from the rest, so to speak. So I can't wait. Like I said, I got my measurements for my shelf. Cannot wait to get into those dioramas. And like I said, the only one I'm late, not got is that dang astronaut figure. So Shame on me for not hopping on a good deal when it was in front of me. Uh, every time I pass up something like this, it bites me every time, and I regret it. Not going to do that anymore. Let's see here. Oh, you had your... They went in the back, and they found it and brought it out. Wow. 
I'm going to have to uh, definitely go and uh, talk to them, see if I can look up. Years ago, this was back uh, right around when the prequels were going out. I actually got to got to know the stock boys and stuff like that. So, so it's a lot. Uh, hey, man, you sure there's not another case back there? And there's, I think out of the the three or four years I'm doing, I think twice they was able to go back in the back and find something. And bring it out, and I was able to get the figures that I was looking. It didn't happen all the time. This, I just think that the my area, for whatever reason, is just don't get a lot of good selection of action figures, whether it's Star Wars or anything. The only thing that I've seen that they've been well stocked on is the Walmart that's right here beside I 75, which I everybody calls it the newer Walmart, which it's not new, but still, it's the newest, newest one out of the two. But they have done really good about keeping the new Mo2 wrestling figures up uh and they've been done really good at that so but like i said but i'm not buying those i'm holding out for the new he-man stuff that's coming out here this fall and stuff like that so and everything so but guys that's uh but that's the biggest thing on the molding and i'm, I'm gonna try the next week or so uh do a silicone demo and stuff like that but it, it'll be a long video and like i said i'm gonna try to do a part one and part two and that to where I'm talking about two different things. So, cause in between every step, there's like a five or 10 minute downtime and everything. And the biggest thing I got to do is try to set up to make sure the camera angles capture everything. Is that way you can see all the, the, the messiness that this it, it's a loads of fun. Don't get me wrong, but it is a definitely a mess maker. And if you don't watch it, you will, you can run carpet and run a floor in a heartbeat. So, I, I've made some messes in my time, and I've gotten a lot better at it. But when you're new at it, it's start small. Don't don't go for something big. Always start small. So and everything. But guys, that's all I'm doing. Not keeping it short. Alphatron, thank you so much for the question you had for the day. And guys, if you got any other questions, please uh, leave a message. See, all right, some Ron's popping in here. Yes, I actually got, uh, don't have it yet, but a, a buddy that a guy that I met here on Facebook, uh, he says he's got one for me, He, but he's an over-the-road truck driver, and so I'm just waiting for him, and and all this happened right when this COVID-19 crap hit, and so, 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 and he lives up, I think, around the Red Bank up in North Chattanooga area, Cleveland, something like that, so we have just not had time to get together throughout this whole, uh, virus bull crap that's going on and everything but he's supposed to have one for me and if he says he got it i take his word for it and everything because i can't wait to get my hands on it because i want to mold it because i most everybody that I know that has one of them either it's completely meant good to go or they're they're missing that for sure and if i if i can mold it and figure out how to help other people get a copy of that and it looks nice man i, I definitely want to do that for everybody see keep i'm going to send you an, an email in a few all right awesome brother well guys thank you so much for joining me like i said if you got any uh things that you want me to cover on these little quick live videos just shoot them my way brother and i will take care of you guys and try to answer your questions the best way that i can thank you guys for joining me tonight i'm kevin the toy smuggler you guys stay safe take it easy man